Ultra Rapid Fire, URF. It's the game mode that we all love as a nice break from regular League of Legends because the speed and pace of the real game is quite slow. To be able to use all of your abilities with basically no cooldown, you get 6 items in less than 20 minutes, the games are only 15 to 20 minutes themselves, and you remove a lot of the long annoying wait and downtime of running back to lane simply by using this thing, it's really fun to just play this game and it's almost like that's what a video game is supposed to be. You know, fun. In fact, we love Earth so much that every time it comes around, we play it, we binge on it, and all of us love playing Earth, only to realize that it's not so fun to play the normal game again, and we get used to the pacing of Earth, causing more people to quit the game than previously were playing after Earth was introduced. You know, Riot has this problem, and I kind of think that it's funny because isn't it just because people don't want to go back to playing the real game? You know, maybe if they like fix the ranking system or fix their game or, you know, fixed a lot of the inter- <laughs> You know what? I I'm not going to get into that. Let's, <laughs> let's just stay on track. The biggest thing that makes regular speed League of Legends competitive and interesting is that you're restricted by things like mana, cooldowns, and gold. These are resources that are tied in with the skill cap of the game, and using them correctly is just as important as hitting skill shots, so of course we would never be able to see a champion play like Earth in ranked. Well, that's 99% true. Let's talk about this guy. I like Lucian, you like Lucian, Doublelift likes Lucian, Uzi likes Lucian, Huni likes Lucian, everyone loves this champ. He's fast paced, he's fun to play, he has a high skill ceiling because of his passive, and for those of you that like lore, he's deeply tied in with Senna and Thresh. He's a staple and iconic champion, and he's been that way for years, and probably the coolest part about his kit, if you ask me, is the resets. Upon proccing his passive, it reduces the cooldown of his E, which gives Lucian this really spell-weaving, combo-heavy fantasy as a champion, almost like if Riven was designed to be an ADC. But if you go back, way back to his release, the very thing that I stated is the best part of his kit and what makes him unique, if you notice in the champion spotlight, it's not mentioned anywhere that the passive reduces the cooldown of his E, and that's because it wasn't always a part of his kit. This feature would be implemented as a part of a nerf to his kit. Well, a compensation to a nerf. At the time, on patch 4.12, the outcry from the player base that his range would be nerfed by 50 left many players to believe that the champion was completely gutted. And truthfully, yes, 50 range is a big deal, but what happened to Lucian the day this patch went live is something that you guys that played during that time and League of Legends players around the world will never forget. was first released, his dash was a bit different than it is now. I wouldn't quite go as far to say that it was significantly weaker, just different. His passive did not reduce its cooldown, it had a longer cooldown and a higher mana cost. However, there were two key differences. The first is that it would reset E's cooldown completely if you killed somebody with your R. So it was possible to go nuts with the calling if everybody was low, and you could potentially dash up to 6 times by using your first dash and getting 5 resets, but of course that situation is a little bit unlikely. Adding to that, the dash completely removed slows, and this would make him a very good counter pick to a meta champion at the time, because when he was released back in 2013, Nasus Jungle was a pretty strong pick, and then again in 2014, Nasus Top was also seen quite a bit. Leading up to patch 4.12, it was clear they wanted to nerf him because he was very strong in the meta. Specifically, they state in their reasoning that he was acting as too much of an all-around ADC. He was the equivalent of a jack of all trades that did everything pretty well, but he also did laning phase extremely well compared to other ADCs with his 550 range on his Q and his autos, which took the champion over the edge. 
Back in 2015, Jeremy Gaming Curios called this patch the biggest buff that was meant to be a nerf in the history of the game. And the reasoning behind that is that the majority of the community back then figured that Lucian's nerf of 50 range on his autos and Q would greatly outweigh the buffs in other areas. On top of that, it was directly Riot's goal to make the champion weaker. This was not necessarily meant to even be net neutral. He was too strong. And let's clear something up. 50 range is no joke. The biggest reason why it matters so much is that auto attacking, especially on an ADC, is important in every single scenario. Every champion auto attacks to CS, to harass, to deal damage, and to siege towers every time, every game. It's the one thing that all champions have in common. For any marksman, that's going to be your bread and butter, and because Lucian's passive gives him additional auto attacks, that's not just one auto that you have 50 less range, but the passive and the Q. It's reasonable to understand why everybody thought this would be a big nerf, but with all of that being said, this is still where I feel like we can see the progression of the community. In the last five and a half years since this patch, we've become so much smarter and better at this game, because when you look at this patch nowadays, I'm sorry, but reading this, there's no way that this was a nerf. Attack range was nerfed by 50, but base movement speed, base health, and base AD were all increased. His passive also received a super important bug fix that helped out in a ton of different situations. Q also had its range reduced by 50, but the mana cost was down, and it now dealt 25% more damage to minions. Finally, E no longer reset when killing somebody with R, but now has 4 seconds off of the cooldown at rank 1, it scaled down to the same, it now reset his auto attack timer, cost 0 mana at all ranks, and the famous E mechanic that we all know today was introduced. Oh, and by the way, the E still completely removed slows. Something that might be crazy considering that his E will be up all the time now that the cooldown is not only lowered, but also has no mana cost whatsoever. Yeah, that's probably something they should keep an eye on. So the patch goes live, Riot and the rest of the community are expecting Lucian to be weaker. The magnitude of how much weaker is up for debate, but nobody really expects the champion to be ridiculously overpowered. Which must mean, of course, that there's only one option. He was ridiculously overpowered. This new level of power also came with a new build. Before, Lucian was much more centered around being a standard auto attacker rather than a spell weaver, and so typically you were seeing Bloodthirster and Full Crit trying to maximize AD and lifesteal. After this patch, 40% CDR Lucian instantly became the meta, with players going for items like Trinity Force, Essence Reaver, Ghostblade, and Ionian Boots. Shortly after the patch went live, Traffic Games uploaded a video using this new Lucian with 40% cooldown reduction. The video scored 1.2 million views on YouTube, and a lot of the comments point to the same joke. This looks like Earth. Probably the biggest reason why it looks so much like Earth mode on top of the insanely low cooldown is that your E literally had no mana cost at any rank, which meant that you could still get passive procs at zero mana. You could use your E to reset your E. That's quite the big brain move. Some players also swore by taking him top lane, as being a lane bully would easily allow you to get a giant CS lead over all the melee champions up there, and escaping ganks should be very easy by removing slows with E. Basically, this patch would have been Huni's time to shine with Lucian top. Immediately on the next patch, he would be knocked down a few pegs, and their notes on the champion pretty much sum it up. Going into patch 4.12, we had three concerns in the back of our heads. The first was that Lucian would struggle too much in the early game to hit his mid to late game power, which was false. The second was that players would have difficulty adapting to the new Lucian changes, which was very, very false. And the third was that he would be a little bit too strong in the mid to late game, so maybe our concerns didn't matter, which was very, very very true. Specifically on these changes, giving Relentless Pursuit a reset interaction with Light Slinger and making it cost zero mana makes Lucian almost completely immune to slows, which leads to a lot of hard counter situations where he's untouchable for a number of enemy champions. Clearly the big nerf here is that E no longer removes slows, but increasing the cooldown by 4 seconds at all ranks was a massive nerf, because previously it was only the rank 1 E that had its cooldown lowered by 4 seconds as a buff, so overall at the end of the day after all these changes, you're having 4 more seconds on your E than you used to. But for Lucian's sake, at least the E did not cost any mana still, so we still had that going for him, right? Oh, what's that? 5 patches later that was nerfed too? Oh, they gave it a mana cost? Okay, never mind. 
Jokes aside, he was still a strong champion, so we saw a few more changes for the rest of Season 4. Arguably, they kind of made him really bad for Season 5, so we would see a buff towards the end of 2015 to compensate for all of the nerfs the previous year. The next year in Season 6, he would have another amazing year, with the introduction of Fervor of Battle, lethality changes, and a lane bully meta that suited him. Although he wasn't as crazy OP as 4.12 Lucian, it was probably his most consistent and strongest season ever as a champion, and we all know how that really turned out for him. What I love about this story so much is that in the aftermath of such a complete mess up by Riot, we ended up getting something kind of beautiful. One of the most iconic things in this game is how Lucian combos and spell weaves, and that's what makes him unique as an AD carry. It's really hard for me to imagine what the champion would be like if he didn't have his signature E reset. Although this was a colossal failure in so many respects, with him playing Earth mode and playing 4D chess while everyone had actual cooldowns, almost six years later, the result is fine. Though the execution of the idea was fundamentally sound, it was the implementation that needed some fine tuning. Lucian was given an all new identity, a new playstyle, and a higher skill ceiling as a result. Even if for about three months he made you want to completely quit the game. And there's something majestic about that, isn't there? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, it would really help out if you could give it a like and subscribe. It always helps me out and lets me continue to make these videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.